Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. Would love it if you would. You know what's really weird is when I had the camera facing like a different angle and I wasn't on screen. Um, my intro changed. It's almost like I couldn't remember my initial <laughs> intro. It was really weird because it just whatever I said came out of my mouth. So different perspective, different messages come through um, in different ways. And the energy that I was feeling uh, right before I sat down or right as I was like preparing for this was it's about um, just going with the flow with whatever changes are are coming your way, which is kind of what I was doing <laughs> without realizing I was doing it because I just felt the urge to do it. It just felt right in the moment. So that's why I did it. Um, cause not every, you know, every opportunity is a good one, but it's not that not every change is, is major or massive or, um, in your best interest, you know what I mean? Or for you, not every change is for you. Uh, it's kind of what I want to say with that. Not every change is for you. So something to do with retreating. If there's a lot of changes occurring in your life or in this situation, they're not all for you. Some changes are for those around you, for other people. Like there's things that need to change within them, around them, or what have you. Even if you're quote unquote affected by it, it's not necessarily for you. That's kind of what that feels like. Um, because one reason, it wasn't the main reason, it was just it kind of came up was someone, it wasn't just one person. There was a few people over the span of time. Um, that's why, it real, that's why when I changed the angle, it wasn't necessarily about those people. It just, it popped in my head. So I don't know. Spirit works in weird ways. They really do. It'll make sense down the line for whoever needs it. But, um, there were some people who were thinking that my readings were all about me. And I was just like, they're not. Maybe it's because they're looking at my face. So if I remove myself, <laughs> you know, I'm not on camera, I'm not on screen, they can pay attention to the messages, like what I'm saying, what spirit's delivering versus me. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes when messages come through, I say I a lot and me, and it's not coming from me, Jessica. It's coming from whoever the hell's channeling through and it's from somebody else's perspective but it's in the first person. So those are sometimes how messages come through. I don't know, it's just a change in perspective, seeing things differently, like little tweaks and changes, which aren't meant for everyone and it's not meant for um, not even long term. So there could be some changes that are occurring that are temporary. Temporary changes. So anyways, let's see, what's going on? So I'm back, we have a warning, yay! <laughs> I'm back. Warning, warning. I'm back. <laughs> Maybe you're back to yourself. Or someone's coming back around. Because that's kind of what it felt like. Like, I'm back, baby. Fuck. <laughs> you know, like, damn it, you're back. Protect yourself. Someone might be returning. Um, whoever this person is, they do have some uh, obsessive tendencies. Probably towards whoever's being warned. Just going to say... A wolf or wolves could be significant. This person is not part of your pack. Even if they are a wolf themselves, you know what I mean? Because not every wolf is is part of the same pack. Do you, do you know what I mean? The situation is going to be... There's something that this person... The situation that's coming back around or this person, it really feels like a person... Um, is meant to reflect something back to you or you reflected something back to them and that's why they're returning. Do you see? Did you see? Did you see the difference? Did you see the change? Okay. Did you see the truth? Yeah, there's a change in perspective. So whoever's returning to this situation, to your life, um, they saw something. 
I don't know if they saw a change within you or there's a different perspective. That's really what it feels like. There's, there's a change of perspective. So, all right. Let's go. Going on. There's something to do with bad habits and a mess. So somebody might be creating a mess or they did because of their bad habits. Someone might just have a bad habit of making messes and never fucking cleaning them up. Whether it's causing problems or literally just leaving shit everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it almost feels like somebody hightailing it out of a situation. Like, oh, I just created a storm. Oh, shit. Bye. <laughs> you know, something like that. Like, have fun cleaning that up. You can do it yourself. And then once you do, once you make those shifts and changes, they mosey on back in. And you're like, uh, go... No, go F yourself. Like, you don't belong here. Whoever this person is, they don't belong around you, and you're well aware of it. It doesn't feel like an ex or anything like that, though. Um, it's someone that you've either interacted with, you, you, do, you know them in some sort of way, whether you, like, fully know them, or they were, they were just involved in a problem or part of a problem. A mess. They were involved in a mess that surrounded you or that was made for you. <laughs> well, there's some warning with a twin flame situation, just saying. I don't even want to deal with that. I, I really don't. So you don't want to deal with this person. You don't want to deal with whatever the situation is. There is a level of recognition here. Um, Someone is seeing something. They're seeing the truth of a matter, and they might not want to deal with whatever they're, whatever's coming up for them. Um, I just heard, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that problem, that person. Don't worry if this person ever sees you or not. If they, if they ever come around, especially if you do feel connected to them, but... There could be a significance with a twin, not necessarily, but I feel like there's someone that's going, I don't, I don't know if spirit's telling you not to worry about this person or if there's someone around, whoever they are going, don't even worry about the situation. Don't even worry about so-and-so. Don't worry about if they find out the truth, who gives a shit? Um, whatever this truth is, someone is worried about it because it's not good. Like... Someone did something they shouldn't have done. They created a mess, basically. I'll get a moon card. Because I just made a mess and I don't even want to deal with it. Somebody made a mess of a situation. They pulled some bullshit and they don't want to deal with the repercussions of their actions. They don't want to deal with whatever it is. Because it's like, I'm just going to leave it there. But I keep looking at it. <laughs> so whatever this is, it's driving somebody nuts. Um, like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to whatever. Yeah, adjustments are required. Change is required in the situation. Just saying. Also, I'm being reminded because I found 10 cents today. And, um, actually the other day as well. And it was weird because Spirit had told me to go back over my memories. Like, to look at my phone. And I'm like, what am I looking for? And I heard memories. And I'm like, well all of these pictures are memories, you know what I mean? So I'm just scrolling and usually when spirit has me do that, like they literally talk to me in full fucking sentences. It's it's crazy how like the confirmations that I've gotten, I don't I don't share much anymore because um not because I don't find it cool and interesting, it's just because I'm not prompted to share, so I only share what I need to share. That pertains to messages or that's significant to any of you guys. So, because I know the significance to that stuff, but I know a lot more than I say. I'm saying this for a reason. A lot of you could know a lot more than you say as well. It's like when you know someone's lying or you know about a situation, a problem, and you're just sitting back, zipping the lip, waiting for somebody to out themselves or um, for shit to come to the surface for somebody else to figure it out, basically, because it's not your mess to deal with. It's not your mess to clean up. And these people, whoever they are, or this person, doesn't need your help cleaning up whatever they created, whatever bullshit this is. They gotta do it on their own. 
that's why some messages don't come out or they are a little convoluted because there could be certain people around you um, who don't need to know. They don't need the help. It's like you made the mess, you're going to do it on your own. You're not getting help from spirit, basically. That's what that feels like. So if there's any problematic people watching my videos, they ain't going to get any information on how to fix whatever fuck up they made, just saying. Um, whether it's a fuck up on, like, for you on your end or something, you know what I mean? Like someone in your life or if it's someone around me. But regardless, um, oh, yeah, so Spirit talks to me like that. And I'm, like, scrolling through and they'll be like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then they'll be like, okay, right here. And I clicked on a couple of different pictures, but there was one where it was the definition of, like, um, the spiritual sign of finding a dime and I had just found a dime that day and I was like oh and it was telling me basically to really listen to myself listen to my intuition um, and it's about protection and listening to yourself so that you don't go down a bad path basically um, and I found another another dime today so the reason why it's coming up in this message is to let everyone know that you really need to listen to your inner compass. Um, pay attention to how you feel around certain people or in situations. Like, for example, I'm getting nervous. For example, I'm not talking about when you feel other people's health issues and, and their anxiety and stuff. I'm talking about, like, if you walk into an establishment, no matter what the place is, someone's house, a business, wherever, and you're you're all happy go lucky you just so I'm just running errands or I'm just going to have a bite to eat I'm just doing whatever the hell I'm doing and you just you step foot in the place and you go okay I have this weird feeling something feels fucking funky here this energy's off there's either someone not so healthy around whether you know them or not because strangers can hurt us too do you know what I mean or something not so great's going to happen there maybe you're going to get food poisoning or um there's just it's for protection. So instead of standing there and just waiting for the bus to fucking run your ass over, why don't you just go to a different place? So if you get that feeling that you shouldn't go somewhere, you shouldn't do something, shouldn't be around somebody, don't. You know, really listen to yourself. No matter how connected you feel to whoever the fuck this is. Because for some of you, the reason why this is such a strong warning to really listen to yourself is because it's either someone you really care about, like you would trust them, or it's someone you feel very like connected to in a love capacity. Like you, th you either believe that they're your twin flame or they are. It's okay to be wrong, just so you know. Better safe than sorry is what I want to say. Better safe than sorry. Because I feel like I'm hiding. Like, I was very drawn to wear this hat, too. So, <clears throat> someone could be paying attention to you in plain sight. Do you know what I mean? Because it's bringing me back to not wanting to show my face on here for some reason. Um, which I don't feel like this is, like, a personal message. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just examples. So, it's like, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take my face off screen... So everyone can just focus on the messages so you're not stopping what you're doing, you're not stopping your routine, you're making little changes. Especially if we're talking stalker, you know what I mean? Because um, they learn your routine. So if you're making little changes, it's going to throw them off. Um, but I feel like I'm hiding. So whoever this person is to you, they might wear a hat all the time. Maybe that's significant, a hat's significant. But regardless of that, they could be out in public disguising themselves. You know, like they're in disguise, but they're around. And you wouldn't recognize them because they got the sunglasses on, their hat on, their, you know, whatever, however the fuck they're doing whatever they're doing. Because I feel like I want to hide my face. I want to sit here like this. Like I'm, I'm trying, I, I can see, you can't see my eyes, but I can see the screen. So I, I can see you, but you can't see me. It's fucking creepy. Someone's doing that. So I guess make little changes, make adjustments, because that's really what this feels like. Because there, yeah, well, there's obstacles here. This person's really struggling to stay hidden. They're having a very hard time doing it.
because I feel like your intuition is letting you know when they're around. Even if you don't consciously know, you might not be thinking of who this specific person. You might not be going, oh, Joe Schmo is over there, or that's who that is. You could just be going, I feel uncomfortable here, I'm leaving. Or, you know what I mean? You just get that weird, I don't know, spirit's giving you a nudge to, to go when you need to go. Like, get up right now, go. Like, get out of that seat because a meteor is going to hit that spot and you're in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. Even if it's not a meteor or whatever. You're being warned. That's really what I want to say. You're being warned. Okay. Investment, stability, wise, practical income and money. Starting fresh. Um, new chapter, clean slate, starting over. I know the light's really bright, but... Um, come over. Come over. I just want to be like, if you really want to talk to me, come over. Come over. Come on over. You're more than welcome. Someone's afraid of you, which is weird because they're trying to scare you or you get that off feeling whenever their energy is around. But I don't really feel like you're afraid of them. You could be picking up on their fear for all I fucking know, but if they're doing something wrong, of course... They're going to be a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? I want to dare somebody. Like, I want to be like, I dare you to say hi. I dare you to come see me. Like, that's what it feels like. Some of you could be doing that, or you're in that energy, like, I ain't fucking afraid of you kind of thing. I really don't feel like you're in danger, though. Just FYI. So, if you do feel like you are, um, if this message is resonating at all, it, it could just be, like, fear factor, you know, scare tactic or something, but, because, I don't know, whoever this person is, they're not going to physically harm you. This person would do shit behind the scenes, like, it, it feels like hearsay, gossip, like, that, that, run their mouth, um, <sighs> set up things like a setup or something I don't know what the hell the setup's about I don't know what the hell any of this is about to be honest but it doesn't even feel like someone's gonna like physically harm you they can't get close enough to do that anyways um no I don't think they want to they I don't know why the fuck they'd even be paying attention to you I don't know the hat is significant Something to do with a hat. A piggy bank could be significant as well. I don't know if it has to do with saving your money, but it just could be a literal piggy bank that's significant in the situation. Um, I just heard they're more afraid of you than you are of them. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways... Um, whatever it is it's going on now, just saying, it's in the here and the now. You're just focused on the moment anyways, which is what you need to be doing. Whatever this person did or is doing or is going to do is not going to stop your forward movement. They're not going to be able to stop you. They haven't been able to stop you. And, um, the only person that can stop you is you. Because whatever you're doing isn't wrong. Something to do with late Somebody's late to the party is what I want to say. They're late to the game. You're ten steps ahead of the situation. Just saying. Chop wood. This person probably treated you like shit in the past. Like you didn't matter. And I kind of feel like you go, okay, I don't matter. Neither do you. Deuces, you know. Um, chopping wood could be significant. This person could have a wood stove or a fireplace as well. But I just heard, I'm just treating you the way that you treat me. So you're basically giving this person a taste of their own medicine, um, or you will be. And it's not really intentional. It's not being, like, vindictive or anything. It's just you give you get what you give, and this person gave you a bunch of shit, and I feel like you're throwing it back in their face. 
I just want to be like, ooh. Maybe your spirit's scaring them. You, I feel like if you're very spiritual, your your intuition scares the shit out of this person, whoever they are. But that's not your problem. They do want to fix things. They might be pulled to mend this situation. Like, oh, I gotta clean this up. I have to fix this because spirit's gonna be on my ass for fucking ever if I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and they just know it. You probably know this person's headed your way. Like... I have to I have to apologize because I don't want to be on the divine shit list. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Because whoever this is didn't believe in that before. But I feel like they're heavily believing in karma now because they're probably getting a hefty dose of it. Like, how can you not believe? Look at all this shit that's happening. Look at my life. It wasn't this way before. I fucked with you. Like, that's kind of what it feels like. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. You do. You know who's best for you, who's right for you, what situation, what direction to go in. Even if you don't fully know, it's like not a thousand percent clear, you know what feels right. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you're the type of person that gives really great advice to your friends and those you, you know, talk to or whatever, but you don't take your own advice, spirit is telling you to take your own advice. You know, like, um, you're a lot wiser than you think you are. Listen to yourself. Not just your intuition. Listen to your own good advice. Know where you wish to go. So have a plan in the right direction. You're you're going in the right direction. With or without a plan. But I feel like... Something to do with the camera. You're, you're, in the, you're going in the right direction. Something to do with the camera. You could have taken pictures of something or have pictures of whatever's going on here, but you're, you're, you're headed in the right direction. Um, if you do any recordings or anything, spirit could be telling you, encouraging you to keep doing whatever you're doing, like creating whatever film you're creating or, or whatever these recordings are. Could be tarot, could be anything. Um, it's definitely something creative either way. And it's definitely for you. So don't let anyone muddle up your mind or steer you in a different direction or make you make changes that are unnecessary just just to appease them because I actually had some of you say that like you don't have to um please everyone it's your own it's your own platform this is your thing if they don't like it they don't have to watch they don't have to listen and it's true and that goes for anything you know what I mean that's good advice um just keep doing you no matter no matter what other people think because if you've got a couple people who don't really like what you're doing oh fucking well you got a shit ton more who do do you know what i mean um you get bad one you get one bad review oh that's the end of the fucking world no <laughs> i don't know that's what it feels like so don't get discouraged when assholes show up because they're everywhere, you know? Yeah, they're everywhere. The law might get involved in the situation for someone as well. Especially if you got someone stalking and being all creepy and shit. Just say it. Um, something to do with slander. So the law might get involved due to slander when you catch wind of whatever this is. If someone was throwing your name, your company, your business, your product, whatever, through the mud when it was just because they were butthurt. But this wouldn't be just a one-time thing. This would be someone's going around to everyone. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Uh, the Hierophant. I just heard you're too smart for this. So whatever someone's planning or whatever's going on, you're too smart for it. Um, somebody can't outsmart you. Just keep, keep doing your thing. Keep moving forward. I just wanted to start saying, can't always get what you want. When you try sometimes, oh, the light flashed. You just might find, you get what you need. Yeah, someone isn't going to get what they want in this situation. And I don't feel like it has anything to do with you. I mean, if they want you, they're probably not going to get you. Especially if they're up to some fuck shit. Just saying, but... Um, someone's definitely going to get what they need in this situation. I 
I just heard I really needed that break. So maybe some of you needed a break from another person or from whatever you're doing. over the pain is done this person can't hurt you no matter what they say or do or try or whatever they can't hurt you you're too smart for it you think before you act I don't know you're you're in a very high vibrational energy where this petty crap does not affect you even if you think about it and you go, wow, what a dick or bitch or whatever. It's like, I can't believe you said that. Whatever. It doesn't fully affect you. So it doesn't phase you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't allow this bullshit to stop you, to, to, to get to you. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to sit here and overthink it. Like, I can't believe so-and-so said this about me or said whatever. It's not going to drive you nuts. Because you don't care. You pay attention to what's important. Especially if it's shit online, you know what I mean? I don't know, like, if, if there's any keyboard warriors out there, it's like, let it go, because who gives a shit? Those people are cowards, because they won't say it to your fucking face. It's like, if you... It was like those memes where it's like back in the day before computers and stuff, this is what happened, you got kids, like, beating someone's face in... That's what they're afraid of. Like, this person is non confront They're not confrontational, but their mouth runs wild online. Do you know what I mean? Like, they'll say whatever the fuck they're thinking and be cruel as cruel can be. But if you confronted them face to face, they would cower down and be like, I didn't mean it. Or I never said that. Somebody stole my phone. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Something like that. I'll point the finger at everyone but myself. Kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. Can't touch this thing. In it, in it, it. Yeah, you're untouchable. It is really funny with that like bully mentality when people really try to get to you, and you don't react. You just go silent. Your silence is fucking killing this person. <laughs> Like, why aren't you mad? Why didn't you say something? Why aren't you upset? It's not important. Because you've healed. <laughs> this person might want to apologize. Or come in and heal things between the two of you. Because hurting you didn't fucking work. But why even bother? Why even bother? I just heard, go sit over there. Take a number. Go sit over there. You need to wait. Get in line. Wait your turn. They need to wait their turn. Uh, no clue what that's about, but... I just heard there's too much going on here. Like, oh my god. There's just too much going on. So someone's got a lot on their plate. The chariot. Cancerian energy. We have Sagittarius energy too. Come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination. But it's making me think of going for a car ride. Let's go for a ride. I want to show you something. Spiritual drive, maybe. Um, let's go for a ride. I want to show you something. Some of you might take someone for a car ride to show them whatever the hell this is. Or something significant to you. Some of you might just go on a little adventure, a spiritual adventure yourself. Because you you feel the urge to. Like you feel the urge to drive or walk or ride your bike or whatever. You know what I mean? Like... I feel like I should go here. I feel like I should go there. Something, wherever the hell this is. 
you just feel like you should. And I feel like that's coming up. It's coming up. I just heard it's important that you listen. Spirit's going to show you something while you're out and about. That's very important to you, to whatever the situation is. It's not necessarily about a specific person. It's a, about a situation. What they're doing to you. What people are doing to you. Or what's going on around you. It's like that Michael Jackson song. They don't really care about us. Whoever these people are, or this group, they don't care about you. I wrote a song or a poem similar to that a few years ago, and I actually just found it in my phone. And it, that's, that's the premise of it. Like, they don't care about us. They don't care about you. Like, they'll kick you when you're down, basically, kind of thing. That's this type of energy. And Spirit's letting you know about these types of people because they're around somebody. Mountains are significant as well. Yeah, whoever these people are, they don't care about you. And, and Spirit's trying to show you. So some of you could be facing some really difficult truths because this could be a family situation or someone you're partnered with or your, your fucking twin flame, someone you, you care about. At the very least, I don't know like what level, but it's someone, it's someone or someones you do care about. They don't care about you. And Spirit's going to direct you on where to go because they want to show you something. A person isn't showing you this like Spirit's showing you. You're just going to feel, you're just going to be like, I really think I should go over wherever right now. And you're going to see something. You're going to get a sign. You're going to get some type of clarity because of wherever you ended up or wherever you end up. Because I feel like this could have this could have happened in the past. Whatever it is, it's going to be painful. It's like heartbreaking. It could have happened in the past already to you, but it feels like it's coming up. Like whatever this is, isn't over, which is why it's being shown to you again or being shown to you now. Why is it making my heart hurt? Ugh, I feel like I just got stabbed in the heart, like... It doesn't feel cardiac. It feels like I literally got, like, shot in the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Could be an ex. This thing has something to do with that. But, yeah, I feel like I just got stabbed in the heart. Like, you... I can't believe you did that. Some truths are hard to hear, but the truth is the truth. Whether it hurts or not, it's still the truth. And there are certain things that you need to know because ignorance isn't always bliss, especially if somebody's trying to cause pain. Um, for some of you, you might not have been phased by whatever action was taken towards you because you didn't know where it was coming from. Like, you could have thought it was coming from strangers, especially if there's, like, catfish energy in here or anything like that. Like, or or strangers were attacking you, and you're just like, I don't fucking know you, so I don't give a shit. But it's because someone you know, someone that you actually care about, is telling them to do this shit. You know what I mean? Um, it's something like that, even if that's not exactly it. So it's like, why would you be faced by people you don't know and care about? You'd be like, you're just a dick, fuck you. Um, but what I, I don't know, Spirit's trying to show you that this is, whatever this is, it's coming from someone that you, you do care about. Curtains could be significant. Someone's running their fucking mouth big time. Um, or they did. They still are. I don't know, whoever they are, they're still... Still running their mouth. They're playing games. Someone thinks that this is a game, that your life is a game, your purpose is a game, your intuition is a game. 
this whole situation is just all fun and games. But it's whatever this is is not like this. This feels I don't know borderline illegal or illegal. If someone's stalking you, that's definitely illegal. But there's Facebook here as well. It's significant. I just don't want you to fucking know. That's what I just heard. I just don't want you to fucking know. So someone doesn't want you to know something. And they're trying to make sure you don't or... It's like a diversion. This person just does not want you to know something. That's how fucking stupid they are. How foolish they are. Or were. person could have a dog or there's a dog that's significant in this situation this is someone you're friendly with someone that you you should be able to trust but you can't a white rose could be significant because they feel like all right what is this spirit's not only letting you know about something but a literal person might be trying to let you know as well, like, um, leaving little hints and clues. Because this dog is trying to warn him, like, oh, those, you're going to fall off that fucking cliff. You're going to get hurt here. Uh, please, stop. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You're going to get hurt. Stop. Maybe somebody's trying to stop you from doing or saying something because they don't want you to get hurt. But I don't feel like you're going to get hurt. Um, really... I mean, finding out a painful truth can be painful, you know, it can hurt you, but I don't feel like you're going to physically fall or anything like that, but just relax. Just relax and you'll hear their cries. So whoever's pleading with you is a person, but they're not saying it to your face. They might be thinking it like, like prayer mode. Like, I really hope that you... You get this message. I really hope you listen to this. Like, something like that. And maybe they think you're unaware. Like, you don't know what's going on around you. Oh, I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you. And, because you're just going, Daddy fucking duh. But I did say earlier in this reading, there's a lot that I know that I don't say. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. So whoever this person is who's in the know doesn't even want you to fall and get hurt. But you're fully aware of what's going on. You're just not letting on. You're not telling anyone. You're not showing anyone. You're not showing anyone your hand. Someone's going to come out barking because of it. They're going to be like, fuck, 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 fuck. You, you're you're going to walk right into this disaster. But you're actually not. You're going to stop right, right at the edge and be like, oh, what, what did you say? Oh, thank you for that. That's just what I needed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever thought they were in control of a situation or, or, or over you, had control over you, they don't. Um, someone's going to lose control because your silence is killing them. I don't know. They're, I'm, I feel very fucking worried about you for some reason. Because there's something that they know that you don't know, but you actually do know. And I've said that before. But they don't think that you know because there's no way that you could know. Do you know what I mean? Unagi. If you guys don't watch Friends, you won't know what that is. But it's like... <coughs> telepathy basically mind reading and <laughs> that's what Ross says and Rachel's like that's sushi salmon skin roll <laughs> so you know a lot more than uh, people think that you do in this situation I'm nervous I feel like I'm, I want to bite my nails like I'm waiting for something. I don't, what am I waiting for?
table. I'm waiting for the table. I'm waiting for the tables to turn. You're waiting for the tables to turn. Don't worry, they will. Something to do with an ad, an advertisement. Things are adding up. Everything adds up. I'm just waiting for the tables to turn. That's what that feels like. I don't know if this one's going to make any fucking sense to any of you guys. It probably will to some of you. Not to very many. Cautious heart. Have enough wisdom to get back up. And I feel like you do. I feel like you're ten steps ahead of whoever these people are, this person is. And I feel like if you did fall, you do pick yourself up. You did pick yourself up. And you dusted your ass off and you just kept trucking along. Because it, I don't know, I feel like you never tell your opponent your every fucking move. You never tell your opponent what's, what to expect, what's coming. Someone could be watching a reader, trying to find out um, what, what's, what's happening, what's going on, what's coming up next, so that they can be prepared. I'm just going to let you know, Spirit already knows how tricky people work and they'll trick you right back. They might even give you false information. Do you know what I mean? Like not if you're on the high vibing end of this, the positive end of the situation, like you're the victim or the target or whatever. Um, they're not tricking you. You'll get the information you need, but anyone who's in the wrong, they're, they're going to be all like, confused like I don't know what the fuck to think I don't know what the hell is going on here or they're gonna think they know and it's gonna be all wrong but this really what it feels like knowing heart heed your intuition really listen to yourself and I feel like you do I just heard shut your mouth until the time is right Like I was going to say before, it's like those little changes, expect the unexpected. You're throwing somebody off, and I don't even feel like you fully are aware that you're doing it. Because this, I, I feel confused, but it's not me, it's just the energy is confusing. I just, I really want to just throw all the cards in the air. Like... 52 pick up. <laughs> That's really what I want to do. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.